Elon, you don't seem to accept the medical expertise of other intellectuals like yourself. That's a problem. None of the medical professionals in the United States are attempting to give hormone therapy to people who shouldn't have it. If you claim this, then cite the statistics. I'm not somebody from the woke community, but I do consider myself progressive and open-minded. Some might say a liberal. I try not to use that word anymore, just like I don't use the word black, white, race, racist, racial, or belief. I'm a scientifically literate person like yourself. I don't make rockets. I help make good minds. I'm an ESL teacher, but I focus on philosophy, which means I focus on teaching, which means I focus on the virtue and honesty and clear analysis of issues. I would hope like you. I wouldn't be the first well-meaning individual who thinks that you are being really sloppy with what you do on Twitter. You yourself have admitted that you have Asperger's disorder, or you could call it something else since that's not in the DSM-5. I haven't been diagnosed with anything, but then I haven't checked. I might be on the spectrum. I might be slightly bipolar. What I do know scientifically is that I'm hypoglycemic, so sometimes I'm prone to some paranoia and mania when I haven't eaten for a while and there's undue pressure on me. But for example, today I didn't eat anything from about 8.30 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon and I was fine. I don't really believe in pride, but for the sake of conversational efficiency, I'll say that I pride myself in the fact that I can have my mind changed. Can you? There are people, whether you like it or not, which of course has nothing to do with the facts, who feel that their consciousness is oriented toward the opposite sex. I myself have been one of the people that has kind of fought the whole pronoun war, saying that someone's personal sexual persuasion doesn't have to interfere with the language use which describes our appearance. But then again, my overriding principle is to decrease pain in the world. So if people want to be called this or that, while I don't want to be blamed for when I don't know or I make a mistake, why would I take that away from them? Similarly, if they know with every fiber of their existence and the people who love them analyze the situation and lovingly come to the same determination that they should be able to transition to a different sex, who the fuck are you to fight against them? I mean, really. You're wrecking the environment as you build the rockets that I hope you continue to build. But we make exceptions because we balance. Can you balance? You're on the wrong team. There are no two ways about it. You're on the wrong team. Your obsession with free speech, which I believe in too, which led you to put the most dangerous in America person back on Twitter was dumb, okay? Robert Oppenheimer tried to kill his professor at Oxford. Everybody who's talented in one area or one area or in one ability doesn't necessarily betray a full intelligence. I don't accept some of the language that is used in our society to call people geniuses. A person can be great at building atomic bombs and a moral idiot. I would ask you to please take stock of yourself. And here are some recommendations I could make to help you do that, as I do like you and I do believe in what you're trying to do, as long as you're really doing it for the reasons you've stated. I've been in the trenches fighting for you against some of the most noble, educated, capable, and well-meaning people on this planet. But you're making it harder and harder to do. Read or listen to a good production of Mino by Plato from the dialogues of Socrates. Read the Apology. Put your own thinking process to the test. People don't think it's too great that you kind of glossed over the fact that Tim Dodd is really the one that helped you advance your rockets in one particular way. And all the words and justification in the world won't change people's opinion about that because we saw you do it. Come clean and be a better man.